the six Outlook rules that you should be using. Not all emails are equal. The email from your favorite clothes brand advertising a 30% sale isn't important as an email from your boss asking for an update on an important project. You don't want to explain to that important person why you missed their email. So why don't we create another email rule? Any important email we can classify has been important. Let me show you. Okay, I'm back in my emails. Now, I've only got a few emails here, but you might have dozens or hundreds, and they're kind of blending together. Now, I'm looking at an email here, look, from Simon. Now, Simon is a really important person. He's a manager, okay? So when Simon sends me an email, I need to act really quickly. But I might miss his email amongst all of this. And I don't want that to happen. So let's go back to my Outlook rules. Go to Mail. Go to Rules. And let's add a new rule. I'll give this a name. Flag emails from Simon. Okay. I will add a condition. Again, it's people from. And I'll add Simon's email address in here. Okay, so what do I want to happen when I get an email from Simon? Well, simple. I want to mark it with an importance. Now we can choose from three. So you might have some people in your organization who aren't as important as others, and you might choose low. But in this case, I want to choose high. Again, I want to stop processing more rules, and I want to run this rule now. We've got this second option here because we we're able to run it now on emails. So I will select that, and I will select save. Now what happens in Outlook? I'll come out of here. You can see here look this now has been flagged with high importance and all subsequent emails that i re receive from simon will also be flagged as important so i can prioritize those in my workflow